Scorpio, what up, doe? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart. Keep in mind, we all have an eighth house. Time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless, y'all, so whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something in here for you. To help bring you clarity, confirmation, to help you align, to help you, uh, to help empower you, or... bring you into the space you need to be in. Tapping into your energy... Scorpio, this is very a similar vibe to the reading for Cancer. You guys, it's wild. The All of the collective readings have been seeming like they've sort of been merging. Um, just letting me know that us as a collective and as a family, we're really sort of getting onto the same page, right? You're doing the work. You're getting it done. We have this deluge card, perfect for this rainy weather, right? We have the patience and the resilience coming through from this illuminated earth oracle deck that I use to catch a vibe as I'm connecting with your energy, Scorpio. And we have the structure, we have relationships, we have harmony. We have grief and reflection on the bottom. What it feels like is, whew, really it feels like divine intervention coming through and clearing, clearing out the old. With the patience and the resilience, <clears throat> Scorpio, this is letting me know that you have been doing the work. You've been uh, persevering, right? You've been moving forward. You've been strong. You've been patient. And... I almost feel like this is the divine saying like, yo, we're clearing out the rest of whatever needs to be cleared out to, to bring this harmony in, to bring in this balance. This is within your relationships, um, your internal relationship with yourself and a lot of deep healing happening, reflection, um, clearing out this grief. All right. I know some of you are probably still in this energy of sadness and like i said with the rain and everything it's like y'all are we're aligning with the universe with the cosmos and truly right on time we're shedding we're releasing the divine is coming through washing it away and we are sort of laying this new foundation in order to you know build our futures from and so i would say beautiful energy it does feel a little bit, you know, you guys have made it through. You've been pushing through and it's like a well-deserved breath of fresh air coming in for you. Oh, wow. You guys, I said this feels similar to Cancer's energy. Not only do we have the, the card of Cancer here on the bottom, but, and I shuffle, shuffle all these cards. <clears throat> I did Cancer's reading this morning. And before I went to go pull their cards as well, they had the chariot, same energy on the bottom of the deck, riding into our victory, moving into success. Um, and again, you know, it's crazy because this is about that solid foundation. It's always the emperor or the empress in the chariot. The charioteer never has any reins controlling where it's going. This is letting the divine lead you into beautiful energy and the chariot does represent that solid foundation with the emperor or the empress in the chariot this is representing something that's already built something that's already successful something that you know someone who's already in their power and so just letting me know you've done the work just letting me know you're moving into abundance just letting me know you're moving into this beauty the beauty of life um so with that, we're going to jump into this tarot. We're going to say a quick prayer, and we will rock and roll. The PC, the laptop, has been acting funny, right? It's been glitching out. I feel like that is a sign. It's over here blinking at me, okay? 
So maybe electronics are, mess are, are acting screwy around you. I know we are sort of after the retrograde, Mercury especially, um, we're still probably in that shadow period and the energy's still sort of acting up a bit. So just be careful with your communication right now, right? Your messages, your emails, things like that. That may be a warning. So Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Angels, Archangels, messages for my Scorpio family for their highest good. Anything they need to hear right now, anything my Scorpios need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my Scorpios, any messages that will help them align to this harmony, to their highest timeline, to their best life, to the divine will, will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. Spirit, what do we have in the past energies here for my Scorpios? Yep. That's it. That, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are still feeling maybe a little down or low energy. You're still feeling this pain, this hurt. this sadness right from this structure that has been destroyed broken down what do we have currently for my Scorpios we're in the resting period we're in the phase of healing we're putting ourselves back together right what's the theme here Spirit? okay 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 what about incoming These cards are so clunky. Wow, this is beautiful, you guys. Advice. Whoa. Y'all got all the advice. Okay. Forward movement. Wow. Scorpio, deep, deep message. You're moving into energy where things are working out okay so take that how it resonates but in the past energies here for you scorpio i see a lot of chaos and conflict i see some hurt i see this tower i see the divine coming through and breaking down a structure that maybe wasn't serving you that was draining you that was bringing this grief this sadness um I see it coming down and I see you moving forward and slowly putting yourself back together here, Scorpio. I see that this was for your highest good, but I'm also just, you guys, we did get the grief card and the three of swords. So this hurt, this was painful, this betrayal or this relationship or this situation that came to an end or that is being transformed. Um, it's been tough. It's been hard for you. Um, bringing us to your current energy. Okay. Things are balancing out here. We have the justice that was already out here, but the, the queen of pentacles wanted to come out. And with the justice, we have the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Pence. So it really does feel like a balance, like our reality sort of resyncing, harmonizing. And this is the rest. This is the resting phase. This is where we're going deep within. We're meditating. We're taking care of ourselves. We are integrating. Um, and and actually, I feel like you're still in the integration process because I feel like things, I, I intuitively feel like things are still being figured out here on like an astral, on like a behind the veil level, on an energetic level is what I, the word I was looking for. And it really feels like you're trying to find peace, but also trying to find this vibration of moving into abundance right your your vibration is changing hmm.
and this karmic balance is coming in. It feels like my Scorpios are maybe taking it, taking it easy, taking it slow. In the theme of the reading, we do have the Queen of Cups. I see this healing. Nine of Wands, I see this strength. The Wounded Warrior coming through. My Scorpio's doing it. You're pushing through. You're making it through. I'm seeing a, a lot of maybe stress or a lot of different things happening in our mental space that are causing this grief, right? So what it feels like is that this, this past... And maybe with the Eight of Swords, maybe this is even past people that you left behind that are thinking of you and they're coming up in your mental space or something like that. But what I see is you're like, I'm not falling for it. You're gaining this divine wisdom here and you're really learning. Like I said, it still feels like you're sort of in the integration phase where you're you're gathering all of what's really going on and you're and you're embodying that and continuing to push forward you're moving towards something new you are moving toward situations that bring happiness you're actually it feels like and this is exactly what i said in cancer's reading is it feels like your frequency is rising and it's almost like pause we hit pause on the game so you can embody this new vibration so that the new situations that come into your reality are resonating with this frequency and sort of reflecting back to you the work that you're doing here in your incoming energy is when i see this release happening like this full energetic release this awakening this ascension with the judgment card where you're truly embodying all of this wisdom you are releasing without judgment you are realizing why everything happened exactly the way it happened and uh, you're building this legacy here you are building something that's going to last and we have the two of cups and the two of wands and the ten of pentacles was like between that so i'm seeing the 11 11 here this is that portal to build your legacy this is where you go through this portal and from here on out this is where you're building building your life you're building um and i do feel like as we switch into gemini season things are going to speed up a little bit right taurus season's a little bit more laid back it's a little bit more slow motion but it, it's good we need that we need that pause we need that time to integrate we need that time to recoup we need that time to recalibrate right and that's sort of what i'm feeling overall intuitively is like this is recalibration phase and with especially with the justice you guys a lot of 11s out here you're probably seeing 1001 1010 111 1111 you're pro and this is just spirit's way the universe's way of letting you know your guides your angels whatever you want to call your your higher self your higher power it's letting you know that this is the time so it's going to be really important to be mindful of where our mind is at at this time and not sort of let these thoughts these energies bind us up keep us in a lower frequency whether it's sadness anxiety uh anger right fear whatever it may be um but i see you really transmuting that and, and what i see is you're realizing a lot during this time so this is a huge awakening for you scorpio and again this is a major portal for you too this is the turning point where it's like okay where do we go from here i'm i'm integrating i'm recalibrating and i'm getting my i'm getting the master plan together and i'm sort of you guys perfect time to write it down not only the <clears throat> stuff that you're releasing but also the stuff that we're creating the the manifestations that we would like to come to fruition here whether it's love whether it is a new job or a business whether it is just peace and stability right ten of pentacles whether you're uh some of you are buying some land some of you are are thinking about buying some land and starting a community some of you are thinking about starting a business or a youtube channel some of you are thinking about moving into a new place and this is really where you put that intention out there into the ethers you and then you bring it from the ethers and put it on paper bring it into the physical and then we have that focal point for that energy and our guides are like okay so they're focused they know where they want to go let's start moving these pieces around to to make that happen in your advice here 
We have the Devil in the Shadow Work card here, Scorpio. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands, which you did get in your theme of the reading. I feel like this, this is kind of a big message as well, but very simple. Keep going. Cancers, it's, it, maybe some of you have prominent cancer placements. Maybe some of you are dealing with cancer energy in some way. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Continue taking this intuitive action as your guided Scorpio. Keep doing that work. Try to see every situation that you've been through and that you're going through. Try to see it all as you. And ask your higher you, why would I have to go through this on a deeper level? What, what is this really trying to teach me? What am I supposed to be embodying and integrating through this? What am I learning? How am I growing? Is it boundaries? Is it learning how to speak your voice? Is it learning how to trust your intuition? Is it learning how to help yourself so you can help others, like help heal yourself so you can help heal others? What is the deeper meaning of this? This is this divine wisdom that you are gaining um, when we really see God or we see our own self, our higher self in every single situation in person that comes across our path. We see them as a divine mirror. Can we take responsibility for this mirror, for all of it being us? Can we release without judgment? And can we work through these shadows? Can we set ourselves free from these energies that are binding us in these cycles or into these energies. Um, this is a huge ascension for you, Scorpio. Major ascension and truly like, it's a level up. And again, you're, you're, ri you're rising in consciousness and you're raising your frequency to such a level that your reality is trying to catch up and then will be reflecting that back to you, right? We are a ball of energy. Everything is energy, frequency, vibration. We experience ourselves in every situation. So it's really easy to point the finger and say that person, that person, that person, but really it's all us and it's coming from a frequency within us, whether it is a past trauma, whether it is suppressed emotions, that frequency is in us and it's being emitted. And that is why we're experiencing what we're experiencing, right? To see the self in everything is real illumination. And we have this star. So this is about you, again, getting those manifestations together, getting that game plan down. But this is really about alignment and deep soul level healing that you are going through right now, Scorpio. moving away from anything that isn't sure anything that isn't grounded anything that is not bringing you happiness you're moving away from a lot of betrayal a lot of lower frequencies a lot of things that hurt you you're seeing them different and here is that hanged man where you are seeing it all from that higher perspective you're seeing it on the deeper level you're seeing the underlying uh, vibrations you're seeing the underlying patterns you're seeing where it stems from within you and you are releasing and moving toward your wish fulfillment and your happiness nine of cups and star y'all that is wish fulfillment so again like i said in the ceremony last night like i said in cancer's reading as well this is this is what you incarnated to handle here scorpio and you're doing it you're truly doing it. You're truly ascending. Um, this is what a spiritual awakening is. This is absolutely what it feels like. It has not been easy, but y'all are gangsters. Scorpio, y'all are the phoenix rising from the ashes for real, for real. So let's go. Um, we're going to grab some oracle cards now. If anybody wants to take a deeper dive into your situation, you can always reach out. Pop at me. My information is right down below in the description box. You can shoot me a, a message on social media. You can shoot me an email. I will get back with you as soon as I can. Angel number 234. Look up angel number 234. What do we have here for my Scorpio spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Herald of Change, the horseman here, number 30, bringing in this harmony, right? Number three in numerology. And we have the cosmic womb. This is that pause. 
this is that pause this is that growth this is that integration and you also have the adaptability card which is actually what i'm being guided to read for you here scorpio number 64 which is a 10 in numerology representing tying up these loose ends and moving into this new energy adaptability strong roots and growth the woodwives dance into your dreams as a reminder to be grounded no matter what life offers you. You need to know who you are, what you'll tolerate, and what you've learned to date, and what boundaries to set so you feel good about yourself. Life is going to offer you something extraordinary now, and in order to learn and receive its blessings, you must remember that being grounded gives you more freedom, not less. You have everything you need. You have all it takes to do this right now. If you also keep reminding yourself to be flexible, you will be amazed at how well things play out for you. The woodwives are both wisdom keepers and students of the new world, as these forest spirits have an uncanny ability to adapt to changing circumstances and always find the perfect way to grow and expand. They represent what you already know how to do. Learn. Be in beginner's mind. Let go of your rigid notions of how things should be and be present to what is right now, unencumbered by your projections. Is there a storm brewing because things need to change? No worries. Nothing can uproot you now and it will pass and you will dance with nature and move with it all. Perhaps you're being given an opportunity to take a chance on something new and you're not sure how far you can go without losing your footing. Have no fear for when you remember your roots, your integrity, your authentic self. You can stretch yourself beyond the invisible line that you drew. Go for it. Scorpio, you will be so glad you did. We also have this, I didn't even notice this, radical acceptance here. Total vibes here, you guys. This is, this is deep healing. This is deep shadow work. This is very much so big growth here for you there's not always a need to try to grapple and conquer sometimes the need is to simply just let go just because another has created a certain reality for themselves and is attempting to draw you in does not mean that you must participate you have the divinely granted gift of choosing where to invest your energy so be kind to yourself when all hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, the divine love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, Kali's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. Let's grab one more. What do we have from our Scorpio's peace spirit. Big, big theme for the collective lately, Shodashi. Shodashi cleanses the soul from past hurts. Her presence indicates recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, or criticized. If your innate being has been put down in any way or if there's been bullying or nastiness directed towards you, Shodashi brings healing and renewal so you can rise above and lay claim to your innate beauty and worth. And this number six is the divine feminine this is internal union it is the number of the lovers you guys this is big big energy for my scorpios so keep doing what you're doing stay focused get that game plan together put it down on paper family get that six month that 12 month that five year plan at least an idea of it down on paper and let's go let's go let's go Scorpio, thank y'all so much for tuning in, for showing love, for stopping through, for sharing these readings, for uh, smashing that like button. Make sure if you haven't already, you smash that like button for us. You guys drop the scale emojis down below to claim this ascension um, or, or even the star, right, to claim this alignment, you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. I hope to see y'all on the next one. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will to draw cosmic 
energy divine white light into our heart space we're going to pause hold the breath at the top watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter and then as we release we're going to exhale like we are filling up a balloon picturing any negativity any sadness any anxiety any demons any shadow that is uh, not serving us or blocking us right now we're going to picture it all as black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute this into that guiding light <clears throat> So let's get this breath in. Hold it. Squeeze Mulabanda. Raise that energy up. Lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself going brighter and brighter. And... Release, release, release. Scorpio family, I love y'all. I will see you on the next reading.